Republican governor from Nebraska, Pete Ricketts. Uh, welcome, Governor. And, and you guys got to meet a week ago with, with Vice President Pence to tell him exactly what you really hope will be in it. Can you give us a sense of whether they uh, agreed and what it is you asked for? Well, I, thanks very much for having me on, Liz. And I can certainly tell you what we as governors want to see in the bill because at the end of the day, it's the governors and the states who are going to be implementing this program. So we want to have a big voice in this because we're going to be responsible for actually carrying it out. And there's still a lot of discussion about this. There is no plan that has been really you know, got uniform support behind it. We've had a lot of discussions about what we want. So, for example, one of the things from Nebraska's standpoint is we did not expand Medicaid. We've been frugal with spending the dollars. And we don't want to be penalized in any future system because we were doing the right thing by controlling our spending, while other states maybe not so much. So, uh, for example, we would like to see something like per capita caps or a set amount of dollars per person. And, of course, there's ways that you could negotiate that to gradually bring the expansion states down, uh, allow the uh, non-expansion states not to be penalized and so forth. That's one of the ideas that we're advocating for in Nebraska as a way to help control the spending and yet still allow the states the flexibility to be able to manage these systems. And that actually gets to another key thing, which all the governors agree on, which is give us the flexibility. Uh, in one of our meetings with Tom Price, uh, who had been on the job about 15 days at that point, we said, hey, waive the waiver process because it is too long, it's too cumbersome, and we know best what will work in our states. Let us do it. And frankly, what will work in Nebraska may not work in New Jersey and vice versa. Right. So let us do it. Let us give us the flexibility so we can implement these programs. Did they, did they seem amenable to that? Well, I think so. I mean, I think there's a lot of, uh, certainly one of the things the Trump administration has talked about, and certainly the president said this in his inaugural address, is they want to push responsibility back to the states. And that's where it properly belongs. I think this administration really understands that we in the states are closer mm -hmm. to the problems. We'll know best how to serve our people. And so they want to push that responsibility to us. And President Trump was explicit and very clear Tuesday night in his speech. And when he said this, you have to believe Democrats were, were certainly welcoming and happy of it. Um, he said that he promised pre-existing conditions coverage for people, and he also s promised a stable transition for those already involved in health care uh, exchanges at the moment. Uh, there's a lot to be promised here. But, but as you look at the states, the 30 states, not you guys, but the 30 states that did, of course, uh, expand Medicaid and allow those earning incomes of up to, what, about 138 percent of the federal poverty level to enroll, uh, can we, in your greatest moment and hope, cover everybody in this country? Well, this is one of the issues that we have to work out yet among the governors, which is how do we handle the expansion states versus the non-expansion states? Mm -hmm. This is one of the problems the federal government has because this program has become hugely expensive for them. They haven't been able to manage their budgets. They haven't got a balanced budget like we do in the states. And so they've got to start looking for ways that can control their mm -hmm. costs. And that's where they need our help and to be able to start doing that. And we've got to find some sort of system to really transition away from what we've done with the expansion because that's too costly, it's too expensive and get to a point where we've got something okay. we can manage our costs better, which is why, for example, we like the per capita caps. Good to see you, Governor. Thank you very much.